Now, before I give you this money, I'm gonna ask you for something simple. Don't disrespect me again, period. Don't come on my Facebook, don't come talking shit, period. That's all I gotta say. If you want something, you come at me like a fucking man. Dude, I tried talking to you. I've hit you up, you hit me back yeah, at 3 a.m. Yeah. And, and then I talked to you on the day you say you're gonna give me money, you fucking hit me back up after. I, I got a I'm lot waiting, of shit going on. I didn't say I'm waiting for you fucking outside the apartment. You don't fucking show up. It don't matter, I don't you, answer you your think calls. I don't got shit going on too? That's what it's not about. If you want something oh, oh, from so somebody, you think you're fucking if you more want special. something, yeah. So you think you're if more you want something special, from somebody, I bet you're special. if you sure want something special. from somebody, if you want something from somebody, you come at me like a fucking man. You don't I come on my Facebook like a bitch, me, calling me, me a like, bitch. But on Facebook like a bitch. Who came here to give you the money? Do I have to do this? Are we in a contract? No. Motherfucker, do you, I have to do you this? Fucking send me text. That means but do I have to do this? I came here. You felt like you needed this bread. I came here to give it to you. But did you have to come on here like a like a bitch? Did you have to come on my Facebook like a punk ass motherfucker? Who the fuck do you think I am? You fucking go on Facebook. Do you think and I'm talk a bitch? On, you go on do you think I'm a Facebook? bitch? Yes, I fucking do. You do? Yeah. So would a bitch come here and give you this money? You know I can knock your ass out right now, right? Did you want to square up? What the fuck is that what to? you want to do? What the fuck do you want? Did to you do? come here for that? I didn't come here. Don't for Don't come on my Facebook come here for talking that. shit. Period. Bro, you're the one that goes on Facebook and talks shit about all kinds don't, of little fucking don't, That has nothing to do with like you. Woman that has does. nothing to do with you, bitch. I got a following. Wait, I get money you know, off this. You know, you, what, you know what? Way I'm back me. When, way back, way I'm back me. when. What? Way back when, motherfucker. What? You fucking used to say shit on Facebook what? all the fucking time. What? What? Say Facebook to... Say... Yo, what's good? What's good? Yeah, me neither. Yo, Balrog, bro. You're fucking crazy. <laughs> Yo, Balrog, man. <laughs> and I, I, thought, I thought it was Cap at first, bro. But then I heard the motherfucker's voice, and it sounded just like the dude from from the gym, from that gym video. This motherfucker Balrog is insane, man. But I'm watching honest, this shit right now, something bro. Something crazy happened earlier. I had a chit chat with somebody, and I wanted to share that conversation with all of you. So a couple things before we get into this. Number one, um, I forgot to press record in the very beginning, but you didn't miss anything. We were just having a little bit of small talk. And bro, this is some wild ass shit. I don't know, bro. I don't know how the fuck you did this. I don't know how the fuck you got in contact with that dude, bro, but you're goaded for this shit, man. A hundred percent. A couple of parts where I forgot to beat my mic. It's in the beginning and like a couple of little spots in the middle where you hear me breathing hard like I do. I need to lose weight, seriously. But uh, you hear me breathing a little heavy. But Bro, all you got to do is fast, man. Just fast and hit the gym. The majority of this video is... You know, you don't really hear that throughout the majority of this video. So, so um, that's pretty much it. Tell me your thoughts below, and uh, y'all have a good one. But he owed you money. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the thing, dude. The the whole thing is really like, it, like he should look back on it and realize how embarrassing it is. And you know, he won't say that to his chat. You know, but. You know, if he thinks about it, maybe he does. I don't know. Because that dude, you know, all the shit that that dude talks, he was fucking making these, like, passive-aggressive-ass fucking comments about, like, me or my chick on Facebook. And he would block it so I couldn't see it, right? He would, like, post That's like, some coward-ass shit, bro. 100% that's Dale. That's, that's Dale energy. He'll 100% that's Dale energy right there, man. So that's people some coward ass shit. It, and my chick would be like, hey, look at this. And she would show me like posts of his where he was like fucking running his fucking mouth. And I started going like, hey, dude, we need to talk about this shit. You know, and he's like, oh, no, that's, that's nothing. And then he would like start leaving. Then he started blocking her or like other people from seeing other shit too. So it's just like, I knew that dude was like just talking shit. And she's like, whoa, dude, you're talking shit online without me even able to fucking see it. And I live in the room just fucking... Right across from me, bitch. Oh, that's crazy. What was he saying? The thing is this. It's like, bro, if you got something to say, just say it to the dude. You know what I'm saying? He's your roommate, bro. Like, he, he's, he's literally right by you. Like, if you got an issue, you just talk to the fucking roommate. You don't be a bitch and you don't be on Facebook talking shit. Like, when the dude is literally local to you. You got the fucking on. Bro, it was like nothing really important, just dumb little shit. It is like petty little like roommate shit where like you could be like, hey, this, hey, that. And it's just like, dude, and even if you look at the shit, it's like ridiculous. Like, dude, why is that even a complaint of yours? <laughs> yeah, and you would fucking say shit online, but not to a motherfucker's face. And then he goes and says, oh, you would say that online, but not to my face. Yeah, the more I see this shit from him and the more he's like, 
oh, come down off. None of you would say this shit to my face. Like, what, dude? Are you fucking, you wouldn't say shit to my face, homie, when I would say shit to your face. As I said before, guys, I said this shit before. The way Dale moves, bro, he'll literally be nice to you to your face, man. But behind your back, he's definitely the type of dude that'll literally just talk shit. The most fakest motherfucker, man. He wouldn't fucking do or say anything, but it's just like, it's, he, he's fucking ridiculous. For him to be fucking running his mouth on that kind of shit, to like, oh no, you're big ass, man. Like, Thank you. Fucking, Thanks for three, bro. Whoever. You know, whoever it is. Yoda, for him to run his mouth the way he does, and then cents. act like, Bob oh, Bob people wouldn't do that shit to me. Big like, well, dude, hands. not Fold only have hands. I seen people do that, I've done that with you. And ain't nothing ever fucking happened to nobody. He just likes to sell wolf tickets. Yeah. Thanks. Dang, well, you know what, though? You know, he always talks about how big he is, and, you know, his size and everything, you know, how physically opposing he is. But, I mean, he's never... Have you ever seen him, you know, um, in a in like an altercation before where he had to defend himself or where he had to, like, get him in somebody's face? Oh, he, he would never... He would never get in any situation like that. He don't... Bro, why do you think... Bro, like, out of what I heard, I'm not going to say who told me. But out of what I heard, as somebody who's seen him IRL, the motherfucker walks fast as hell. He has anxiety, bro. Like, outside of his streams, when he goes to a public setting, this motherfucker running fast. He's trying to avoid people, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like... <laughs> that's that's like cookie-cutter, terminally, on, like, ter terminally online type, type of fucking behavior. Talk to people, like... I I'm pretty sure it's like a social anxiety type of thing, which... Exactly, bro. Have, you know? Maybe it's like a, you know, some part of like autism. Maybe he's like, you know, on the spectrum, you know, <laughs> possible. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. All right. Well, um, well, okay. So let's go here then. So, um, you know, he said a lot of things about pissing in bottles. You know, uh, Dude, I can't, bro. <laughs> Yo, Balrog, I don't know how the fuck you did this shit, man. <laughs> this motherfucker got his roommate. <laughs> I don't know how the fuck you did this shit, bro. <laughs> Yo, you know damn well Dale's not going to like this shit, bro. He's going to see this shit, and he's definitely going to be talking shit about you, bro. Uh, I always thought that was pretty odd. Have you ever... I'm not asking if you've ever seen him physically piss in a bottle before, but is that... Can you confirm that? Did he actually have, like, piss bottles around? He's mentioned it. He mentioned it to me one time. I'm pretty sure it was after he, he brought it up on stream because when... It's got to be like around the time that he brought it up on his stream, because mind you, I've, I've only seen some of these videos like more recent. I've seen a couple back in the day and like more lately. It's I'm, I'm tripping on how much of this shit on him I see. It's like, damn, dude, this motherfucker really fucking got himself a hate audience. And the thing of it is, is most of the time when people talk about their interactions with him in public, they always say like he's really chill or really quiet. And you're saying the same thing. And so, I guess the real question is, do you think this whole low-tier guy persona, it, do you think he's actively trying to act, or do you think, like, when he gets in his room and puts on that persona, that he really thinks he's big and bad? How, how do you feel about that? My my personal opinion, he's he's afraid. Every time he's he's out outside of his room, he's afraid. So, in his room, when he has his chat that he can talk to, when he's playing his video, then he's like, you know, he... He thinks he's that video game character. He's got that main character syndrome shit. But no, when he's when he's outside, it's just like he doesn't bring that shit up. You know, he doesn't like ramp up that personality because he's he's just afraid of people. He's afraid of interactions, like real interactions. Mm hmm. And okay, so he was like this even back when you were living with, like when y'all were living with each other. Yeah, but see, here's the thing, like. Since what I saw from him was like, you know, more of that chill shit. And we went to the UAV together. I'm telling you, dude, like, fucking we hung out. We were like buddies. You know, I didn't even know, like, a lot of this shit I'm seeing. Because I didn't know uh, if, if I say anything about, like, the chick. I have all respect for it. If I say anything that seems misconstrued as, like, disrespectful towards her or bring up her name, you know, my apologies. But, like, as far as I can tell, she seems cool. But I didn't even know that she was that age at the time, dude. I just... I wasn't about to really make assumptions and shit, dude. He doesn't present a whole lot of shit, so you just kind of like, oh, okay, he's kind of cool, you know? But then you realize, like, no, this, as soon as he feels safe inside of his fucking room, fucking wop, wop, wop that fucking mouth. I've always called him Stoop Kid from Hey Arnold. I don't know if you ever watched that episode. <laughs> Yo, you wild as hell for that comparison, bro.
This motherfucker. Well, That's fucked Arnold, up. Have you ever seen that show before? Oh, I kind of remember that term, stoop kid. Yeah, so there's an episode about this kid who always lives on the stoop, and like, you know, he's like this super big and mean looking guy, but like, he would never leave his stoop. And like, people would always make fun of him because he couldn't leave his stoop. And he had questionable oh, hygiene. Shit, he, has, dude. he has questionable hygiene, and he also struggles to read. And, and that shit always reminds me of him. And the little engine said, I think I can. 100% that's Dale right there, bro. 100%. I think I can. Wow. What a great book. Hey, Arnold kind of like appealed to the emotional side of Stu Kid. He actually just taught yeah. him, got to know him, taught him how to read. And, uh, you know, <laughs> after, after a while, he gained the confidence to leave the stoop and finally be who he wanted to be, you know? So that's how I always look yeah. at one. And it's like he's just a stoop kid. He's just a forty, uh, almost forty year old. And okay, so there's a lot of um, talk about his age, right? So yeah, he he he's he's like a couple, like a month or two younger than me, and I am almost forty, bro. What? I'm thirty nine. I turned forty in August. And Hold on a second. Like, so there's a lot of um, talk about his age, right? So yeah, he he he's he's like a couple like a month or two younger than me, and I am almost forty, bro. Damn. What? I'm thirty nine. I turned forty in August, and like that's the thing. I went to UAV with them. We went to the school for the health and fitness shit, you know. And he has told me like, oh yeah, that's that's another one of the reasons why we kind of. Yo, Balrog, bro, you're you're you're. I don't know how you did this shit, man, but this is on the spectrum of what uh, when Salo showed up to Lancaster. Like you're 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 literally on that level now. Like with this video, bro, you're literally on that like upper tier, literally right next to Salo when it comes to show shit. A hundred percent. You see, all I do is restream and talk shit. But the fact that you actually went out of your way to do this, bro, you're big ups to you, man. This this some legendary shit right here. We got along at first because we were the same age. You know, we like video games. Uh, you know, we were into health and fitness. You know what I mean? Like working. You know what I mean? Like yeah. You know, dude seemed pretty fucking cool. But yeah, like we're the same age, and that's one of the things because I also look pretty fucking young too, uh, with a good clean shave and a fucking nice haircut. People would think I'm 35, man, or 25 actually. But I don't, I don't fucking lie about my fucking age. Like I don't know why you fucking feel like you gotta lie about that shit. That's uh, fucking cowardly. Yeah, there's definitely a, a whole list of reasons why a lot of us in the community thinks he lies. Yes, so we can fucking meet chicks at high school. That's fucking disgusting. That's fucking <laughs> more cowardly shit you're afraid of fucking talking to a real fucking woman you gotta talk bro it's because look man the reason why he doesn't is because older females see through the cornball bro like older older females is gonna see the bum in them you know what i'm saying it's like they're 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 gonna be turned off like fucking women that are that, that have no fucking experience facts well i think it's just like um at the age he is he's probably not where he wants to be because i remember he made some comments a number of years ago saying that you know um in two years i hope i'm not streaming anymore the only way i'll be streaming is every single director told me no do i still think i'm gonna be streaming in two years Shit, hopefully not only way i'll still be streaming in two years if every single director told me no and i don't think that's gonna happen matter of fact i know that's not going to happen and then like five plus years later you know like he's still streaming and so I think, like, that's kind of gotten to him over the years, which is actually pretty sad, you know? I actually kind of feel bad about that, but he shouldn't be lying about his age. That's just creepy, you know? And the thing of it is, is even when he lies about his age, he can't even come up with a number to give people. He always says, oh, what, how old do you think I am? And I always thought that was pretty weird. I think because he knows that it would be really easy for people to be like, wait, you said fucking this two weeks ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me ask you this, right? You know, low tier guy, he's always on stream talking about how many women he's been with. And I mean, from the sound of it, it's not like he's been with thousands of women. Do you think that's true? And when you saw him with his ex, we're just gonna call her Rebecca. Um, did he strike you as a ladies man? Did he strike you as someone that had charisma? Did he have game? How do you feel about that? I have no idea about like before, what not, I don't know. 
But at least when I was like fucking staying over there, and mind you, I helped that motherfucker move into that apartment too. Mm-hmm. Like I, I like me and my girlfriend fucking moved his fucking couches in, and we had to lift it over a fucking fence because he wasn't showing up because he's a fucking idiot. Like me and my wow, bro. See, so that's the type of person he is, man. You'll help this motherfucker move his furniture, but still won't pay him. Still, still, still won't give the money. Still won't give that deposit. You gotta be a real piece of shit, man. Girlfriend did the fucking hard work because he's a fucking pussy. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, hold on one second. Friend fucking moved his fucking couches in and we had to lift it over a fucking fence because he wasn't showing up because he's a fucking idiot. Like, me and my girlfriend did the fucking hard work because he's a fucking pussy. Wait, what? Hold on, explain that. Yeah, me and my fucking girlfriend moved the couches from his fucking, his old apartment the ones that he wanted to keep we fucking took them to the new apartment and since he wasn't showing up to open the front door we had to lift the fucking couches over the little that fucking like what six foot tall fucking like wood fence and fucking like push it over and down and like like lower it into that little like backyard fucking balcony area so we didn't just drop it so you guys because we're fucking tough motherfuckers and he ain't okay so hold on wait, wait, wait. i'm sorry i think i feel like i missed something there so you guys moved his furniture why wasn't he there again yeah i don't even remember like this shit's fucking years ago i just remember we were getting fucking pissed and we we're just like let's just fucking dump the couches and let's fucking get out of here wow that's crazy yeah, i don't even remember what it was yeah dude like that's thing we were trying to help him out too like he got so he was with the one girlfriend whatever and she was kicked she was moving out so he was getting kicked out of the apartment that they had and he couldn't afford the the rent there by himself so he was getting kicked out of there and he was trying to get into another place i was just running out of room at some house so i was like oh you know what you know i wouldn't mind you know hopping into an apartment with you that's how that shit started i fucking helped this dude like i don't know dude fucking fuck that guy okay so hold on you said he was with somebody else uh he told this is before he met rebecca so he had another girlfriend yeah mm-hmm Okay, okay, okay. Do you know anything about that relationship? How was that? Not very much, but I'm pretty sure she realized, like, fucking what kind of person he was. Apparently, they used to argue about him playing video games all the time, and it would piss her off. Because <laughs> she, she, like, had a pretty decent job at a bank and, you know, was the one that made more money than him. So, like, she was the one paying the bills, and she was, like, kind of tired of him just playing video games. There you go. So, that shit that Rox was saying, bro, was true. That shit, um... <clears throat> Because I remember not too long ago, Rox was uh, literally mentioned how Elena used to like show up uh, to, to his crib to, to take the Spectrum modem or some shit. So that's factual. That, that's, that's not no bullshit. The game's like a kid. So she wanted to get another boyfriend and get another place and fucking left. You know what I mean? He couldn't keep that place by himself. So I felt sorry for him. Mo- also, Dale, how the fuck you fucked that shit up, bro? You got a solid ass chick that's making good money, that loves you literally paying for your shit and you still fuck that up bro this dude is a dumbass man a complete fucking idiot oh his his chick fucking leaves him fucking for whatever you know all all right well okay okay, so that leads me to this so okay so it seemed like he had some problems then how much money did he owe you and why did he owe you that money uh, it was like he wound up owing me like it was something close to like 600 bucks, but he only gave me like 300 or so- something kind of like that. And the reason why he owed me money was because I'm the one that pulled up the fucking when he when we got that apartment. I'm the one that got the majority of the money for the first last month's rent and the deposit. I'm the one that pulled that money together, not mm. him. I did that. Oh. Meanwhile, he's fucking panhandling Hold money on one like second. a fucking piece. Hold on. And the reason Hold on why he owed me money was because I'm the one that pulled up the fucking, when, he, when we got that apartment, I'm the one that got the majority of the money for the first last month's rent and the deposit. I'm the one that pulled that money together, not mm. him. I did that. Oh. Meanwhile, he's fucking panhandling Unbelievable, money like a fucking bro. piece of shit. Like, I work for my money. I don't Crazy, just sit there bro. and beg for it. I work. What does that have to do with you? Nothing. What does that have Apparently. to do with Alex and getting Apparently. this and getting Nothing. this hundred? And that's going to give you another hundred, and that's the end of it. What does that have to do with oh, anything? 200, and that's the end of it? It was a $400 deposit. It was an $800 deposit. All right, whatever. So now that you see what he's become, you know, he's basically, you know, an even more infamous character on the internet than he's ever been before. And he's, you know, basically internet famous for telling somebody to themselves. 
Uh, how do you feel about it now? But you know, I don't really feel too much of anything. I find it kind of funny. All right, I mean, that's the, definitely the good attitude to have. You know, no point in getting upset. Okay, so how was he with the rent? He always made his rent on time. Yeah, so they were responsible for the rent. Um, and that's the thing. When we got that apartment, I'm the one that pulled together the money, and Dale couldn't even rent the apartment. He they, like he had to. He had to doctor the paperwork and it was all under like fucking Becky's name. He was afraid that he couldn't get. He okay, so that's also true because I do remember hearing a rumor about how Elena, like it was under her name or some shit. So that's also factual. He was afraid that he couldn't uh, be accepted if we used his name because he has a felony on his record. And same thing with me. I have a felony on my record from a long fucking time ago. Like I said, mind you, I'm the same age. You know what I mean? Like, from a long fucking time ago, I still had a felony too. Mm. You know, did he ever talk to you about that felony situation? Is it true that he took the charge for an ex-girlfriend? Um, I, I kind of vaguely remember him mentioning something like that. And that's only, like, vague memory, so I can't really say anything concrete because that's All right, just so vaguely. So long ago. Yeah, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. That was a long time ago. Okay, so at least he was able to keep up with the size of the rent, or at least, like, the whole thing. So he is 6'5". I, I don't know if he's 6'5". I do know he's over six foot. Um, and I would say pretty confidently over 6'2". Uh, but I don't know if it's like 6'3", or 4'5". Or I don't know, and I really don't care. I think it's only important for people to talk shit about because they know he gets upset when they say he's not. <laughs> yeah. So if you say he's fucking 6'4.9", he'll flip his shit. You got any funny stories? Funny stories? Uh, nah, no, not really. I don't really think so. I mean, it's just like I said, he just—he's a boring motherfucker. You know, just—he's—he's—he doesn't go out and do anything. He doesn't—I—I I don't know, dude. Like, he doesn't go on adventures. Doesn't go hiking. Don't—he don't do nothing. I don't think he has any particular like hobbies outside of that. Yeah. Uh, I just find it funny because um, you know, he does talk a lot of shit. And and here I am gonna fucking throw this out there just because it's going to light up the fucking hating community, mm. and it'll fucking. Throw him for a loop. So you, you, you've lived with people before, right? Yeah. You know, sometimes you hear people argue. Sometimes you hear people having sex in the next room, that kind of shit. Yeah. Bro, I ain't never heard them ever having sex. Mm. Ever. Mm. <laughs> so I don't know if they're just super quiet. <laughs> Damn, so all that, all that shit that Dale likes to say that he's making chicks scream and shit like that, and they're moaning like crazy, and they're having convulsions when he's having sex with females... All that is cap. Damn, bro, that's some oh shit. Or maybe Lying you about that too, really bro. Perform. But I can tell you what, I know motherfuckers hear me when I'm fucking doing shit. Sometimes I'll hear your neighbors fucking screaming out their window, shut the fuck up. So I don't know, dude. This dude talks about his fucking talks about how he has a fucking dick or some shit or how he can please a woman. All I ever heard them do was argue with each other. That's <laughs> one of the main reasons why I left. Wait, hold on. Holy shit. So one of the main reasons why this motherfucker left was because of the arguments that they used to have. We're gonna call Crazy. Rebecca again, Rebecca. But we're talking about the same yeah. person with the age, right? Yeah. Uh, all yeah. you've ever heard them do, uh, all you ever heard them do is argue? Bro, they've only ever argued. And the one, dude, one time she had some friends over and she was trying to be flirty with them. And he was like stiff and awkward. He didn't even know how to like except the fact that there's people having fun around him and there's a girl like flirting with him huh, yeah, that's what i'm telling like all of his fucking like like whoop whoop shit is just delusional fucking mouth ramblings you know and it's crazy too because we all right guys so you got if you guys don't know what's going on like you guys remember that video to where dale had like a little argument with uh with the dude outside of the gym I know you guys remember that video. Well, this is the roommate. Like, like that. This, this is the dude that was in that video, in that, in that gym argument video. That used to be Dale's roommate. So, like, the dude that Covenant Balrog is interviewing is, is that guy. Is that same motherfucker? I've seen him, you know, uh, at least attempt to flirt with a handful of different. And also, uh, the voices match up also. So I can 100% can believe this shit. From woman online, and it's always. It's always looked awkward, and I'm just like, this doesn't come across like the kind of man that slept with thousands of women, you know? You know, that's been around with every woman of every race. This comes across like a awkward incel. <laughs> <laughs> Said awkward incel. 
Oh, that's savage as hell, Borog, bro. You fucked up. I always felt like even though Dale doesn't look like an incel, that he probably is. And if it wasn't for dating apps, he'd probably struggle to get some. Yeah, I'm, I'm not even sure if he does get any with the dating apps. Shit. <laughs> you guys are just burying this motherfucker, man. But, I mean, I don't know. Maybe he does. I, I don't fucking know. I don't care. Yeah, maybe he does. Maybe he doesn't. But, uh, you know, he uh, did a pre uh, he presented an award at the Streamer Awards. Did you see that? Oh yeah, I saw a clip of that. That shit was fucking hilarious. I dude, they I don't know if they paid him a shitload of money, but the absolute insult, I, I'm surprised that he, he was willing to do that. Cause that was like the biggest fucking spit to the face and he just took it. <laughs> Damn. So, um a lot of things a lot of our suspicions have definitely been confirmed. Uh but you know what? Um so here's one thing that we've always wondered. I've heard a lot of talk about this online but I, I i don't ever repeat this because i don't know if it's true or not and i'm a i'm a huge stickler for the facts you know i'm a facts kind of guy i don't like to deal in what could have been or maybe what should have been and so there's a lot of talk about the relationship between him and his family do you know anything about that like the relationship between him and his father or his mother or his sister because there was some spat online a long time ago between him and his sister and if the timeline is syncing up the way I think it is, I'm assuming you guys are probably living with each other around when that happened initially. They were arguing online. Do you know anything about any of that? No, not really. Uh, I do think he mentioned kind of having kind of like a, like a falling out with his sister. But, uh, you know, like kind of like he didn't really say much of anything. I do know that he it did seem that he had talked to his mom a little bit here and there, which I thought was still pretty cool, you know, like. I think it's cool when people are in touch with their family, you know? But no, no really, um, never really talked about any of that. When he did mention it, it was probably around that time there was an argument because he did, like, as far as I could tell, he did just kind of mention a bit of a falling out. But even when he brought it up, like, it didn't even seem like it was, like, a big thing. So he was like, oh, okay, yeah. You know? Like you said, he likes to keep stuff to himself. Here's a silly question. Did he poop in the shower? Because he claims he has a shit rag. Did he ever poop in the shower? I'm guessing so, just because of that, 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 you know, uh, the video clips that I've seen, because the way she mentioned it, and the way he was, you know. Uh, Emo, even though this shit comes as a, a surprise hearing, hearing this, you had this man read like a book. Bro, man, like, I don't, like... You know, it's so funny, because everything his roommate is saying, I've been said that shit. Like, I've, I, I didn't, I didn't, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've, I've been said that shit reacting to or bringing it up yeah that shit's gross dude i've never heard of a person doing that before okay so you actually never seen or like smelled anything questionable anything like that no but i mean there's two different fucking bathrooms so i think there's two different bathrooms i don't know like i said that shit's fucking long ass time ago man well i think you would know <laughs> i never noticed anything like that dude hold on you know what that reminds me you said he had to get the his place filled out in her name yeah, so like that's the thing. I don't know if if um there maybe he even lied to me about some of that. For all I know, you know what I mean. I'm not I'm not entirely sure because I don't know if it, you know when she left. I don't know if they just switched switch names over to him. I don't know if it's okay by that point. And I think I saw some other dude moved in for a while. I don't know if he's still there, but maybe like they had to switch over that guy's name for a bit. I don't know. I have no idea what they did. Oh. But I just thought that was kind of interesting. I so yeah. I just thought that was kind of interesting. So you're saying that the place he's staying in now, that's the place you and him lived in? Yeah, I think, I think, yeah, the the one that um, Sal Don showed, yeah, that's 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 where I helped him. Move. Yo, that Sal Don plug is fucking goaded, bro. <laughs> that's where I stayed for a little while. And it's, it, it seemed like the room that I was staying in turned into his gaming room. So I don't know if dude just like taking up like the living room area. I don't know. All right. And so talk to me about when you guys were in like a uh, health school together. How was he as a student? Uh, you know, he didn't, he didn't really stand out, but a lot of people didn't stand out in that class. The only reason why I would ever stand out in that class is because I kind of made an ass out of myself here and there. You guys learned about the mitochondria, right? At least you've like, heard that name before. Yeah. Okay. Well, he... It was presented to him in an essay he had written by one of his fans. Basically, I believe it was an apology letter. And at least I believe that's the context behind it. It's been so long, but basically he was reading that letter and the word mitochondria came up and he couldn't, he didn't even, he acted like he didn't even know what that was. 
is like he couldn't even pronounce it. He didn't even know what it was, but he has an AA in fitness, so it's like you should know what that is. Yeah, that I, I gotta admit, like I did enjoy the people that worked at the UAV for those classes were really good and intelligent people, like really qualified, but the courses themselves, I sort of got dude, they're like paint by the numbers. Mm, okay. Uh, like I know uh, throughout the the courses, I broke down how much percentage like eat like so your research papers are this percentage of your grade, your test scores are this percentage of your grade, your homework is this percentage of your grade. So I looked at all that and I was like, okay, if I ace all my tests, that means I only have to turn in two research papers they don't even have to be good ones i just turn them in for like turn in credit like if you do a good one you get like better credit you know like a higher score with it so i, I figured like if i just do two fuck you know for like one of my semesters i, I figured out like through the semesters i could kind of get away with doing things so long as i aced my tests and did my homework i didn't really do the research papers because i felt like they were a waste of time because i could ace the test i knew the answers i i understood uh, hold on, uh, Yuri, did he just change it just now? Can you guys confirm that shit? Did, did, alright, so did Dale have it to where he was gonna be live today, but then he just changed it? Let me know that shit, cause that's really important. Did the shit pretty well, but it was so paint by the numbers. I he just changed it? Hold on. Hold on, Yuri, so, so, so you mean to tell me that he had it? He had it that he was going to be live today, but then he switched it over to tomorrow. You're on his page. You haven't seen any changes. I could just break it down to like, I don't even have to do the work I don't like and still pass. He had it for today and then he changed it. That's fucking hilarious, bro. Uh, see that you're on his page. You haven't. That's some funny ass shit, man. This course pretty well. All right, all right. But did you did you at least learn something from the course? Yeah, a few different things. One of the good things about it was they did like it did provide a bunch of books, even though they would only touch into a couple subjects from a couple of different books. They did have like some really good books that are extremely useful. It was just the curriculum just was so basic. Oh, you know what? I, I got I got a fucking good story for you though. Oh. This this will fucking be great. Okay. All right. So when he still before we got the apartment together, when he still had the other apartment, we were talking about video games, right? And I brought up. Uh, I used to live in Hawaii for a little bit, and I brought. Oh, dude, I love playing uh, Capcom vs SNK2: Mark of the Millennium because I kind of cheese. I cheese with it, but like I win fucking. 99% of the time hardcore that way and I explained to him my strategy he's like yeah that's a bullshit strategy I hate that and there's no way you catch me with that I was like all right well fucking I'm pretty sure I could and he's like I got a PlayStation 2 and I got the game we can try it so my strategy I don't know anybody play uh I don't know if you've ever played Capcom versus SNK2 oh yeah I have. have you oh yeah definitely right so you you pick up the three characters you can pick up the three characters and you got He's going to go live. He just changed the title. <laughs> I think he heard me say that shit. Like a power ratio of four, right? Right. Two characters. It could either be like one of them is power of three and the other one is one. Or they're both two and two. You pick three characters. Two of them are going to be one. One of them is going to be two. Or you do what I do. You just pick ten. <laughs> okay. All right. At that time, I didn't remember what group was re what either. So, right. <laughs> Look what it said. This motherfucker changed the title. Nothing crazy. Bans enforced. <laughs> this dude knows about the video, bro. <laughs> this motherfucker changed the title just because he's seen the video. Right now, it's even worse. So I think I just picked a random groove that I think I was using pretty regular. Uh, my favorite one is the one that where Ken has that like kind of he almost does like a, a somersault kind of like kick. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's in all the grooves. It's like a it's like an overhead, right? Yeah. So if if I remembered what groove that one is, I picked that one uh, just because I like to open with that particular. Uh, salvo like I, I come in with that or i come in with a regular like uh jump kick and i only use the Ale elena won't do it unless somebody gives her like ten thousand dollars or some shit like you can tell just by looking at her like 
If, so, if, if, so, if somebody wants to give her like 10 or 20 grand, she'll do it. The heavy kick and heavy punch. I never use the light or the medium. Never use light or medium. Ever. Come in with the jump kick. As soon as you land with that fucking fierce jump kick, I'm going straight into that fucking hurricane kick. And with Ken, unlike Ryu or Akuma, his shit combos. Yeah. It's not knocked down on first hit. It combos. So you're taking away shitload more life. And especially when you're at the power ratio of four because you only picked Ken. Mm -hmm. Mind you, you only fucking pick Ken, and you're only using fierce punch and fierce kick. <laughs> Start out jump kick, land the jump kick. As soon as that's making contact, you're going into that fucking spin kick. As soon as you're done with that, you go into the fucking dragon punch. They're stuck in the corner, and they're almost dead. You just do one more fucking dragon punch or spin kick. At that point, they're stuck in the corner, and I literally just do dragon punch or spin kick. That's all I fucking do. It's fucking cheesy. It's annoying and it pisses people off. And apparently Dale doesn't like Shoto characters. Oh no, I can see that his his hatred for Ken may have started with you actually. No, no, he he hated them before, like way before them. Like it, it just so happened, like I I fucking like completely fucking like smushed his his best chance. And I don't know, we only play like a few rounds, but it, it like pissed him the fuck off that like. I don't even have to practice the game. I don't even have to fucking try and do nothing. Like I'm just like, oh yeah, this is how I play this game, and I fucking win. Wow! And so you just did that over and over, and he just couldn't beat you. Yeah, well, that's the thing. I think that game is kind of really fucking broken. There's only been a few people that have ever beaten me doing that, and apparently one of them was actually a pro Street Fighter player, and he picked Bison. He saw me pick Ken, and he knew exactly what I was doing. And I, I don't know who he is. I have no idea, but he knew exactly what I was doing. And then he picked Bison and beat the shit out of me and he was like no i'm a pro player and i i didn't believe him at the time i was like fucking a teenager you know when i was out in hawaii so i, I didn't believe him but now i'm thinking like fuck dude i got my ass handed to me by a fucking bison player man <laughs> you know because i we watch him play tekken to this day and it's just you know not even just tekken but street fighter any fighting game and um he just keeps falling for the same thing over and over he just cannot adapt and i've been doing break devs as you can see on my channel like all of his previous matches, all of his in-person performances. That's the only ones I'm going to be covering in video. And he just likes to fall for the same gimmicks over and over and over again. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> so it seems like it's always been a problem. Yeah, I guess. I do want to say, like, I'm pretty sure if this goes out there, I'm, I'm sure people are going to make sure Dale fucking hears this. And <laughs> and he might he might act like he doesn't know who I am or, like, oh, I'm full of shit. Of course he's going to do that shit, bro. Like, even though the voices match up, to the to the dude in the gym like in the in that gym video when when dale was talking he's still gonna find a way to figure you know what i'm saying like to say that that's not him or to say he doesn't know who it is it or this or that like but he knows like he knows that who i am he knows i'm being completely honest and honestly dale this sh this kind of shit you're doing fucking stop it grow up bro for real grow up but I mean, people online and saying like you're gonna do this but like dude just stop this shit dude yeah. I'm, I'm being dead serious like this is ridiculous, threatening people, and then if they show up, you're going to be, like, calling the cops, like, oh, they're a stalker. Like, I don't know. When, with, with the situation with me and him, so I, I, I had to kind of keep pestering him, like, come on, dude, at least give me some fucking money. Like, at least me recuperate some of this shit. Like, you know what I mean? Like, and he's, like, acting all, like, fucking stingy and fucking this and that. Mind you, fucking people are giving him fucking money online. You know what I mean? Like, giving him fucking money. And he fucking, I know he usually goes to, like, the gym, like, you know, usually around, like, midnight or late time. But then he's like, okay, well, meet me by my gym. I'll, I'll be there at, like, 3 p.m. Like, this motherfucker. And then he even shows up late. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, he knows that I fucking work eight-hour fucking shifts and I work hard. So he's like, no, you show up when you're supposed to be sleeping. I show up when I'm supposed to be sleeping, dude. You were acting hard. You were acting like you were going to fucking try and take me, bro. I showed up. It was like three in the fucking morning. Should have been asleep. I fucking worked. But I was there and I knew you were going to try and pull some fucking shit like you did. And you fucking pulled that shit, Dale. Fuck you. When you go and threaten people online, do the same shit and then you act like, oh, well, I won't do it unless I get money. Bro, you still won't do it. Because you know you're going to fucking lose. I'm half your fucking size, Dale. And you know that if you fucking lose to me, ain't nobody going to have no fucking cred for you. That's why you're afraid. If I fight you, if I lose, that's fucking fine. I can live with myself after that. But you're so scared to lose. That's hmm. what makes you weak. Yeah, he's a scared person. Oh, well, the thing is this, bro. It's like when a person created a facade and a bunch of children believe that facade, 
and he, you know like him him losing him getting his ass kicked is gonna taint his image forever you know what i'm saying like you ask me if i've ever seen him phys- no okay so when we were at uav we would sometimes do athletic drills you know what i mean like basketball kind of stuff uh baseball like you know some real basic drills like we weren't trying to do nothing fucking technical right dude has no fucking agility dude dude doesn't have any agility he can't like lower his center of gravity and like cut lateral dude does not have any- all right lower center of gravity we've actually seen that shit you guys seen that gym video or with the um when he was in gnc punching that shit like doing doing the shit with the punching bag bro the motherfucker look head up hella awkward and un uncoordinated you can literally tell just by looking at it any fucking agility and this is not no troll shit it's just like basic you know like just by looking at the form really none he doesn't know how to lower his center of gravity and cut what and you know he always blames his father for not putting him in sports he he's he's awkward he's he's awkward and he just doesn't have athletic Hold ability on one second. like that's why he lifts weights to look big because like he can grab something and lift it you know what i mean like but he can't move now, he definitely talks about lifting weights as if it's like do people lift weights before I, you know? I mean, certain lifts, you definitely want to make sure you're doing proper. Right. God damn. You know, so that's one thing that I wish you would lean more in on that. You know, like, like let's be a fitness person. Let's, like, help people fucking better themselves and grow. Yeah, but whenever he talks about fitness, he always just kind of talks about, you know, him being able to do 315 on incline and how he's in shape. And he's always telling everybody else to lift weights. You know, even when, like, um, it, we're waiting, like he's doing a reaction on his uh, Twitch. Something completely irrelevant. Could be somebody cooking in the kitchen or, you know, talking about their car. And he'll be like, oh, this guy's fat and flat, but he needs to hit the gym. Like, it's just clockwork. He does it every single time. Yeah. Because that, bro, bro, out. let me, let me stop it. Because that's his coping mechanism. There's a lot of people that think that by hitting the gym, that's all you need in life. Like, bro, that's only, a, that's only one piece to the puzzle. You got to focus on, on, on your personality. There, there's so much things in life that you got to focus on. If you just focus on one aspect, bro, like, come on, man. Oh, dude, when I was in prison, I knew this short dude. He was probably about two inches shorter than me. Heavy set, big belly. Everybody called him Bowie because he floats in the water. Short little dude. That motherfucker could kick me in the face before I could even fucking balk. And I'm dead serious. He could, like, jump kick way over my head. Like, this dude was just an absolute demon. But he didn't fucking look like it. Meanwhile, Dale looks like, you know, he could mess somebody up, but he's a complete puss. I think he just leans too hard into that, like, you know, that visual, like, height perception and, the, like, the, the big arms. But, like, and any any person who's, like, been in a few fights, you know, they, they kind of see right through that, that fucking paper-thin veneer of, like, trying to flex. Like, he just flexes and, like, tries to put on that, that constipated face. A lot more people don't fall for that shit than he thinks. So many people tried to pull his card and he just never showed up, you know. Is uh there's people out there that were even willing to pay his way, you know, because he always said, you know, you gotta pay me twenty five thousand, you know, and then I'll fight you. And then one guy actually tried to pay him that money and then all he did was block him on Twitter. Yeah, that people like that are just so afraid of losing because they know if they lose, like they believe that that like they might as well be dead. I've lost basically before. Like, that's the thing. If I get into a fight with Dale, I, I still might lose, but I can just fucking move on with my life. I'm not going to care that much. You know what I mean? Like, not not a big deal. I've won some fights. I've lost some fights. I think it's probably about, like, 80-20. Like, if him and I got into a fight right now, he's got 20, 20% chance to win. Damn. Can you go ahead and introduce yourself? That's some Scott Steiner shit right there. Yourself, like, who you are and who you were to Dale. You don't got to say your actual name, but you know. Oh, I'm Alex. I mean, shit. I know, uh, I've been on his stream. I know he can fucking, he'll probably try and, like, get his people to, like, dox me or get me in trouble or, you know, he's gonna do it anyway, you know? But fuck him, fuck them. My name's Alex. I, I don't really want to say my last name just because, you know, I'll make them do a little bit of effort. Mm. But I already, I already know they're gonna dig it up and act like, oh, we found it. Who cares? Fuck him. But yeah, I'm Alex. I was one of his roommates, one of his friends. And that's kind of sad to say. Like, I feel a little embarrassed to say that shit. <laughs> I was one of his friends. Facts. Yeah, that's fucking embarrassing to say. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, hey, man, thank you for your time. And, um, you know, eventually I want to 
I'm going to start live streaming. And maybe one day I can have you on there. You know, we can talk a little bit more. But uh, thank you for your time, man. Thanks for indulging me. I really appreciate it. Yeah, no worries, man. Uh, like fucking, on, really. Yeah, I hope it was entertaining for you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it'll be entertaining for everybody. Yo, uh, Balrog, big ups to you, bro. That's uh, goaded. I don't know how you did that shit, man. How, how the fuck you got in contact with him, bro? But uh, big ups to you. I'm going to keep the video pinned so like this pe people can go to your channel and shit.